Who doesn't want to get rich? Everybody does, right? What if I tell you getting rich is easy, but what is not easy is to stay rich? Why, you may ask? You must have known some famous names that were super rich, but ended up on the streets. This is because they were making a few mistakes they were supposed to avoid. Well, watch the complete video to learn what are the mistakes people make when they get rich, and that becomes a reason for their downfall. But before we begin, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Mistake number one, are you overestimating? You might have hit the jackpot or won a lottery, but always remember, there is a limit to everything. Even if you have a couple of bitcoins in your pocket, they're not going to stay forever. If you're spending like the king of the world, you might end up on the rags. You have to take things strategically. You cannot buy a house that is worth 80% of your complete worth. You need to make room for other things and some for emergencies. You can buy a big house, but what if you cannot afford to run the place? There is an other aspect to this overestimation. You're thinking you can't hit the jackpot over and over again, but all the days are not the same. You need to slow down and keep yourself calm while spending the money and estimating your future. Mistake number two, are you comparing yourself? If you have shifted to a new neighborhood to look rich, you might be doing a mistake. It is not a bad thing to buy a new home, but you need to keep a check on your wish list. If you're doing this to show to people, then you are never going to get satisfied. There is always someone more rich than you. This is the most common mistake every new rich person makes. They will buy expensive brands that are of no use other than creating a status for you. But you need to know how much comparison is healthy for you. Always look towards your bank account and not others. Mistake number three, are you spending on something that is not giving back? This sounds tricky, right? It means spending on something that does not generate more money. This includes spending on dining, entertainment, luxury items and vacations. You must be thinking, this is the thing we wish to spend on. But as we mentioned earlier, it is important to keep check and balance. You need to make sure you're not overspending on such stuff. Instead, you should spend more on investing money. As Warren Buffett says, if you're not earning while sleeping, you're gonna die poor. But you should see the other side too. You should keep on investing. Keep a bigger share for investments in your bank account to make sure it keeps on getting bigger and bigger. Mistake number four, are you spending on useful stuff? Stuff and social media tempts you to spend money on things you don't need. You should stop it right away. Before splurging money on expensive stuff and useless gadgets, you need to ask yourself, do I need it? Is this going to be helpful? Before you buy lavish dinners and items for that Insta post, reevaluate your life choices. You need a wake-up call if you compete with an Insta influencer. Mistake number five, are you getting too comfortable? Comfort is supposed to be the opposite of wealth. The whole middle class has circulated the idea of comfort. The middle class is happy with a hefty income, six monthly vacations, a house, and health insurance. This is what stops you from struggling more. A rich person or an upper class never strives for comfort, but they strive for freedom. They aim for financial freedom. They aspire for wealth because it provides them with more freedom and security than they will ever acquire. Too many millennials are content with their financial situations when they ought to be setting greater goals. If all you want is comfort, it's unlikely that you'll ever be financially free. You can live comfortably in the middle class. You can live a wealthy life with freedom. Choose carefully. Mistake number six, are you making more money? You should always focus on earning more money. It's crucial to earn more money, but you should also always be saving and investing your money. Only if your earnings rise will the return on your assets rise as well. You need to keep that hunger alive in you. Take Bill Gates as an example. After launching the Windows system, he did not stop. When he could have earned millions with just a Windows system, but he was innovative to bring more to the market. He was never short of money, he just wanted to keep the money coming in. You can always earn more money, even if you have a big income. The largest error made by millennials is not exerting themselves to increase their salary. Work harder at your job to earn a raise. Find a position that pays much more, start a side business. Mistake number seven, are you spending the money that has not come yet? This simply means using credit cards way too much. We know that you're earning well and can't spend the amount of credit you accumulate in a month, but it should not be your way of living. If you are a credit spender, you're likely to increase your credit and decrease your debit. It is important to have the money in hand to spend rather than predicting your future money and spending on credit. You need to pay attention to things that you own before they start owning you. Mistake number eight, are you depending on one income flow? No matter how much money you make, never rely solely on one source. To build wealth, you must make investments that will generate consistent income streams separate from your primary source of income. 
if you generate passive revenue streams through the renting of flats and partnerships with other businesses. To strengthen each of these flows, you need to continue to pay attention to them. This is wealth fortification rather than diversification. Another reason you should not rely on one income is that it might cut down and will leave you with nothing. You should not keep all the eggs in one basket. Mistake number 9. Are you overpaying? It is common to overpay for things when you have some ching chang in your pocket. But you have to slow down and stop overpaying for stuff. Maybe you're overpaying rent or overpaying for vacations. Why take the expensive one when you're just fine in the usual way? You need to be wealthy to enjoy such luxuries of life. Wealth does not mean being rich, but it means having everything in abundance. Mistake number 10. Do you trust easily? This is the biggest mistake every rich person makes probably. When you have a lot of money you cannot trust anyone with it, it is wise to trust someone with proof, like financial advisors, lawyers and property dealers. These are the people that can make your money grow or can make it vanish. You just can't trust your gut feeling in this case. You should always do your homework before handing over your money to someone. We hope this video was informative for you to keep your money flowing. We will be back with some more videos. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. Before you leave, don't forget to press the bell icon and stay in touch with our new uploads. See ya!